Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Uh, just making sure my uh, Tamiya nippers here are nice and sharp to get started on my next uh, kit. And um, if you haven't already guessed it, we're going to be covering what the best nippers are for Gundams or scale modelers as a beginner. Stick around. All right, we're, we're done with that. All right, let's just... <laughs> Well, I gotta do my own reaction video to that intro. Oh my gosh. It's happening. Ah! What is up, Flomo fans? Thanks again for joining me here at Gutsy Studio, where I actually live in a box. <laughs> And this is my studio, hence the name Studio. <laughs> my name is Kevin, and I am a Gunpla addict and commission builder. Yes, people actually pay me money to build cool models like this. Um, and if this is your first time here joining me, I build, I paint, I review, amongst other fun and cool things. So it only takes you a second. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and flick that bell hit that like and subscribe if you want to see more videos of me scotch taping kits together. So all today is going to be short, sweet, and to the point because uh, this definitely doesn't need to be a history lesson to understand exactly what nippers do. We're going to be covering what some are the budget friendly uh, nippers are out in the market when you're getting into this hobby on a budget. So if you're anything like me, you do your research before buying some random items, right? Right? Sure, you've seen everywhere uh, on YouTube and on social media that God hand nippers are the only way to go. Well, uh, they're sort of right. Um, they have fantastic reviews, they cut like a silent ninja at a Spice Girls concert, and cost about as much as one of their tickets if they were ever go on tour again. They live up to their name, God Hands. What can I say? And YouTubers agree. However, not everyone has $50 to just throw around, especially if you're just getting into this hobby. So, um, to me, they seem more like a luxury than a necessity in my toolbox. But you can disagree. You can leave your comments below about what nippers you prefer. But I honestly believe that there is definitely cheaper, uh, durable, and uh, just as reliable nippers as the God Hands for three quarters of the price out of the market. And if you don't believe me, you can check out Lincoln Wright's channel uh, up here. It's Paint on Plastic Community. He's a professional builder, cool guy. Um, yeah, give him a like, and he uses cheaper nippers. The three nippers that we're gonna quickly cover today are the Micro Marks Micro Sprue Cutting Pliers, Tamiya's Sharp Pointed Side Cutting Pliers, and the DSPI AE ST-A 3.0 Single Blade Nippers. Oh yeah, that's a mouthful. Um, <laughs> so while doing the research on these things, uh, I must have watched countless of videos. Uh, God Hands versus uh, Tamiya, God Hands versus Bandai versus Tamiya, God Hand versus... You get the point. They all have that common name, God Hands. Hard to avoid, right? Uh, in particular, especially as a modeler. Um, but I'm not going to cover who invented these or how they cut versus others or turn this into a review. Because honestly, when I was buying my first pair of nippers, uh, watching all these videos was a little bit overwhelming. And to be honest, I still wasn't convinced afterwards that forking over $50 for a pair of luxury nippers was gonna make my life any more zen. Uh, I ended up going with my gut, uh, buying a pair of highly reviewed nippers, and they've been great thus far. Anywho, we're gonna quickly cover their price, their durability, and how they cut. That's right, three simple things for three highly reviewed nippers. 
First on the list is the Micromarks Micro Sprue Cutting Pliers. Priced at $24.95, this New Jersey based company offers a durable, precision cutting tool that is affordable and is on the top of this list for a reason. It rates extremely high with hobbyists and its review sings its praises for the price. Micromark sprue cutting pliers have an angled, sharp edge which feels great in your palm and cuts perfectly in those hard to reach places, all the while using minimal force. Now, although the springs may wear over time, it's a cheap replacement. Of course, to prolong the longevity of your Micromark sprue cutters, it's not recommended to use these with anything other than plastic gates and sprues. And yes, they will cut. A great buy for beginners. Next is the Tamiya's Sharp Pointed Side Cutter, which has two other versions, but we're gonna be talking about the 74123 because it's a champ when cutting near the gate. Priced affordably from around 25 to 30 bucks, this durable precision nippers are on the list because of their precision. Euro style grip, which is very comfortable to use, they snip smoothly and flow when opening and closing. Like their Micromark, Tamiya sharp pointed side cutters have a narrow angled edge and will fit in snug places to get some easy cuts. You still may want to sand down the parts to completely remove the gates, but of course that's based on personal preferences. Just like the rest of the nippers on the list, springs and blades will eventually wear down, but at 25 or 30 bucks, Tamiya sharp pointed side cuttings are a perfect fit for any newcomer to the hobby and they won't break your bank to replace. And of course, they definitely will cut. Lastly, we have the STA-3.0 single blade nippers from DSPIAE. Funny watching most YouTubers pronounce this, but DSPIAE stands for dream, strive, perfection, innovation, advance, and excellence. Bet you didn't know that one, huh? <laughs> Either or, aside from their confusing name and abbreviation order, the company has a solid line of products which include the ST-A 3.0 nippers. And if you're looking for a close thing to God's hands and can afford to spend more than 30 bucks on a solid tool, then DSPIAE's single blade nippers are for you. They're solid. They come packaged in a handy box, a handsome box, excuse me, and come um, sheathed in a genuine leather pouch. And of course, come with a small adjusting tool. Prices range from 35 to 40 bucks, depending on where you get these. But the ST-A 3.0 are definitely durable, reliable nippers that are on this list because of the reviews. The great design and their ease of use. They're gonna be my next pair of nippers. And of course, they'll cut. Here's a bonus pair of nippers if you manage to stick around with me this long. So, you're really on a budget and just need a pair of nippers that will not only do their job, but last you a long time? Then, the Xeron 170-2 Micro Shear Flush Nippers are for you. Priced roughly around $9, Xeron's Micro Shear Flush Cutters will be your go-to pair of nippers for any type of plastic modeling project you may have on your table. These nippers are not only solid and cheap, but they're perfect stepping stone for any beginner and are easy to get a hold of online or at any local hobby shop. Let's talk about what you don't want to do with these nippers. Cut wood. Cut metal etches. Cut thick plastic. Instead, use a older pair of nippers. or cut a toilet. Yeah, well, yeah, stick with a hobby knife or uh, an old pair of nippers for cutting uh, thicker plastics, wood, or even metal edges. Um, especially if you want to prolong the life of your nippers for years to come. Uh, definitely use them only for uh, what's recommended. So took longer than expected actually um there you have it that was my list for best nippers uh for gunpla uh, gundams or scale models as a beginner on a budget 
Uh, I am super ecstatic to hear what your all's favorite nippers are. Please, if you don't mind, put those in your comments. Also, I'm going to link the descriptions below of each of these nippers, including the God Hands, um, the God Hands, excuse me, if you have $50 burning in your pockets and you just need to uh, spend it. Uh, there you have it, guys. My name is Kevin. Uh, this is Gutsy Studios. And stick around. I'll be bringing you guys some more videos soon. Signing off. See ya.